I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And this, and this is, is Maggie, Maggie May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we're in historic Schollenberg, Texas. And this community is famous for the Schollenberg painted churches. And we're going to show you that, but there's a whole lot more in this area. From the historic Piano Bridge, to the downtown area, and the Chicken Ranch which was made famous by Burt Reynolds and Dolly Parton in a very famous movie about the best one in Texas. So we're going to show you a whole lot of things in this area. So come along and enjoy. Thanks. And we're going to start off the tour of the churches today at St. Mary's Catholic Church of Praha. Now, Praha is a little crossroads town you want to use the address that we had on there to actually find it on your GPS. There are about 20 of these painted churches throughout Texas. There were four or five in the Schollenberg area, and they've kind of become known as, as the center of the painted churches. Now they say that they're plain on the outside, but I honestly didn't see one that wasn't pretty amazing to look at. No, even the outsides of these are beautiful. Yeah. This one was a small church that was a wooden church. The congregation grew, they moved it to this site, they built another wooden church, and then it was taken down and this was built in its place. So this is actually the third church for this congregation. It is so beautiful. Yeah, it's these, they call them painted churches because of all of the colors on the insides of the churches. There's the ceiling. Uh, the, the pillars are all done in marbling. The top look like wood. Uh, it, the faux painting and, and everything is just unbelievable. They're so these. inspirational too. And so ornate. Considering these are little crossroads communities, some of them don't even have our own post office. That's yeah. why there's two different city names on some of these in their address. But just absolutely unbelievable, ornate. They are open to the public, I believe it's nine to four, Monday through Saturday. They ask you not to go on Sunday because of services or on other holy days. But other than that, they're open to the public. You're free to go into them. They're all free of charge. They all have public restrooms outside the church. Yeah. So they're they're set up to be to be viewed. Now this is the rear of the church, and if you keep going back that sidewalk, they have their cemetery back there. And one other thing that was on the grounds of this one was this little area, and you go in and it lists people from their congregation that have given their life yeah. in, in battle for our country. Now, next up was the St. Mary Roman Catholic Church of High Hill. Again, a Schollenberg address. Now, rather than stone, this one is a brick church. Uh, this one was actually built in 1901. And this was where the Catholic life insurance was founded. When you go inside, again, all the painting, all the colors. Every one of them was different and unique. It was yeah. just so Yeah, they so were amazing. all very different. We're going to show you the first couple of churches here and show you a little bit more about the town as we go along. That chandelier up there, the light fixtures in this, the ceiling fans, everything's very ornate. Lots of stained glass along the sides in this one. How can you not be inspired? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. And these first two both have big pipe organs up in the choir loft. And this also did have a little gift shop over to the side. beautiful on the outside. Mm -hmm, definitely. Now this is something that Schollenberg is known for is their historic cotton compress. 
and we ask at the Chamber of Commerce to, so that we would pass along the correct information. They really don't know a lot of the history on this, <laughs> but it's set up right along the railroad spur. And from what we can gather, it was to take bundles of cotton that were getting ready to be shipped and compressed it into a smaller bale so they could load more of them onto the rail car. Yeah, because it was right there. It's not used, as far as we know, any longer, but the wood beams in it uh, are massive. You can tell it was really designed to be heavy duty. Now downtown is the Chamber of Commerce office and their visitor center. And if you notice the address there is North Main Street. Main Street runs either north of the railroad tracks, parallel to the tracks, or south. So right across from the railroad tracks, you have their historic downtown, again on North Main Street. It's buildings on one side and the railroad tracks on the other. Yeah. The historic museum, which again is only open a few hours on Saturday, is a free museum all about history of the area. I just love these towns. And again, the, the storefronts are old storefronts, but they're being used and and you you couldn't rebuild and have anything look like yeah. that just a short ways out of town you'll come to the piano bridge and this again is one of the historic things in this town this bridge was actually made around the turn of the 20th century in cleveland ohio and shipped in in pieces it's still open cars do go across it we actually drove across it when we left i went to film it and a car was coming across yep. it as i was filming it it uh, is not the most reassuring sound when a car <laughs> goes across it this one we wanted to show you this was queen of the holy rosary and if you notice there's no building there and they were working on the site while we were there it was about a year ago they told us that they had a smell of gas in the church and they couldn't find the leak and the next day the lady went in to open up the church and when she turned on the lights the church exploded she lost her life in that and it's been about a year they're now clearing the property and they're getting ready to rebuild a new church but the grotto and everything around the building is still there intact it's a beautiful site, and I know when they put the new church in there, it's going to be something. Yes. Now we're back to one of the painted churches here, the St. Cyril and Methodius Catholic Church in Schellenberg. This one is kind of the traditional white church. Yeah. A little fancy, but the, the traditional looking white church. This was a uh, Czech settlement and uh, it was kind of a major gathering place it was one of the largest Czech churches uh, in Texas I love love the ceiling on this oh, one. Oh, it's so beautiful this one has stars on it I think for a wedding or something like that wouldn't that be oh yeah beautiful yeah no stained glass other than at the very tops of the windows, but the other windows are just frosted panes. So a little more simple that way, but the, the altar in the front of the church is just magnificent. Yeah. Now the Chamber of Com Commerce office will sell you a map of the churches for a driving tour. We actually just went to Google and found the, the churches uh, on Google Maps and, yeah. and used that. Now this was the last of the, the four painted churches that we, we went to. And uh, again, this one, again, a plain white church on the outside looks a little bit less imposing maybe than some of them. But when you come inside, it's... I, I love the way the lights are done in this. They are just... Um, so many of them have the big ornate lights. Yeah. And this one is just the simple lighting 
running right along the architectural lines of the ceiling. So you don't even notice them. Yeah, it's it's really neat. Yeah, this is definitely worth taking a day out and making the drive. Oh, it sure it's, is. It's, it's beautiful. And directly across the parking area is the Church's Cemetery. And you can tell when you look across that, that it's, it's been there a long time. Yes. Now, last up, we tried to find the Chicken Ranch, which has been closed for 50 years. This was made famous in the Dolly Parton, Burt Reynolds music, the best little one in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was right back in that area. It was shut down in the 1970s. And uh, I guess there's supposed to be some building remains back there, but it's all private property. Well, Kathy, what did you think about our day in historic Schoenberg, Texas? It's been very inspirational and it's just beautiful. It really is. It is. There's so much history here and they've kept the history alive. Yes. That, that seems like a recurring theme for us, but yeah. it's really nice to see it being loved and appreciated. Absolutely. With that, if you've enjoyed the video today, leave us a thumbs up. We certainly appreciate it. Sorry about the noise in the background. And if you've enjoyed the video today, please hit the subscribe button up in the top corner as the video goes off. Be sure to ring the notification bell so you know when every one of our videos come out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon.